Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this program. I come to you from Kenya and I'm grateful. My name is Aones Mazmwangi. I want to appreciate my CEO, Adorina Saint, and also our president for the Bawa Nation, Bawa Boejo, for granting me this opportunity and this platform so that I can be able to teach you on life skills that are going to make you better as a young person so that you can be a reliable person tomorrow and in the future. Today, I want to talk about markers for school success. Markers for school success. Now, everyone in life wants to be successful and to thrive. No one starts a course in life without desiring success. Anything you start in life and you don't desire success, I think you're wasting your own time. Everyone who runs a race desires to get the prize. And so every runner runs with a determination, with a mindset of reaching the goal and getting the prize that has been set for him or for her. As much as you're in school, I want you to understand that learning is a priority and should never be a burden. Enjoy learning. Enjoy gaining skills, understanding, gain knowledge. Utilize the opportunity that you have to study and you gain the knowledge that you require and the skills that you require to become whomever you want to become in the future as per your dreams that you have in this life. Now, there are so many things that you can apply in life to be successful in your learning skills. But I want to give like four or five skills that are going to be beneficial unto your life. One, embrace a healthy life balance. Embrace a healthy life balance. That one means education and also a time for refreshments or a time for leisure for that matter. You have a time for study and also time for leisure. Somebody said work without play makes Jack a dull boy. And so you need to balance the two so that you can be successful in your life. Your time to study and time to have fun. Whatever makes you happy. As much as it doesn't cause harm unto your life. It's a healthy, fun thing that you embrace in life. So balance the two. Never overdo anything. Do not overdo fun. Do not overdo your learning as well. Try to balance the two so that you can have a healthy life balance. That one is very much important. Number two, apply the principle of time management. Time is everything. Redeem time. The Bible says the days are evil. And so, Time management is very much important for every person who wants to be successful. Show me a successful man, a successful woman, and I'll show you somebody who knew how to manage excellently or diligently their time that they have in this life. Now, there is no magical trick, uh, trick uh, in time management, but it's important to understand that life needs to be planned every now and then. As a young person, you need to embrace time management. Reduce time wasters. You know those people we work with and the only good thing they do is to help us to waste time. Those activities that help us to waste our whole day. It is important you reduce them. You try to minimize them. Of course fun is good as I've said. But at least you try to minimize everything. Too much of anything is poisonous. And so try to balance everything that you do in life. So that you can be successful. Now that one means... You be aware of any action you partake in life. Be conscious of every action that you, you partake in this life. Taking an interest in recharging your life batteries. Recharging your life batteries. That one means whatever gives you knowledge. Because knowledge is power. And it's very much important. This time that you have to add knowledge and information. This and you can acquire knowledge, you can sit down and learn for a long period of time or for a duration of time. Maximally use your time. Exploit your opportunities that you have. 
Learn. Do not waste your time. Take in interest and recharge your battery. Recharge your skills. Recharge your abilities. So that you can become a resourceful person tomorrow. Companies, organizations, institutions will be scrabbling for you. They will be running for you. They will be competing to receive you. So that because they know you'll be so influential and so important to them. Now, find working tools that can help you to handle time management. Something like making a calendar. You use a planner. Or as well, a color-coded supply. It will help you to manage your time. As well, number three, choose extracurricular activities wisely. Now, what you do after your studies to refresh your minds and to refresh your body? Choose them wisely. Of course, don't go for those things that are going to hurt your life or to bring destruction to you or to other people. Something that is meaningless in this life. By this one, I mean follow your passions, your abilities. Check your personality so that you can be able to choose on your, on your extracurricular activities that are going to build your life and to make you a better person every day. Number four, eat well and sleep well. This one is very much important. Young people and teenagers as well have a challenge of eating well and sleeping well. They eat poorly. They want to eat junk food always. And as well, they sleep very few hours. Because they want to be on social media, watching movies late night. Then they have to wake up early in the morning to go for studies and the like. So you reduce your time of sleep. And you reduce your time you know, of what is very much important and of great value to you. Sleeping time, rest is very much important. Even the doctor recommends so. That we need to rest well and have some time to refresh our minds. So that we can make our minds to be more creative and active. We restructure our cells, our body cells when we sleep. And you have adequate sleep. It's very much important. But again, as we have said, too much of anything is poisonous. Do not overdo it. Then again, do not underdo it at in, at in one time. It's just like a prescription in hospital where you go to a doctor, gives you medication. So if you underdose, it's a challenge. If you overdose, it's a challenge. So set a standard that is important for you. So good nutrition is very much important. Check what you eat so that you can be healthy. You can never learn if you are weak. As well, get enough sleep. Lack of enough sleep loses concentration or makes us to lose concentration. And so we lose the grades that we're supposed to attain in this life. And so sleep is very much important. Check on your diet is very much important. Number five, do things for yourself. Do you have a, what we call a, a helicopter family or parents? Their work is to monitor everything you do. They monitor the time you wake up and the time you sleep. They monitor the way you dress. They monitor how you go to school. They monitor everything about you. For you to be efficient as a young people, learn to be responsible and to be a little bit more independent. Doesn't mean you don't require parents to help you to plan your life or to check on you. But at least too much dependence of parents again leads us to irresponsibility. So it is important that you try your best to be independent in a way. Try to manage your life. Plan yourself. Try to do things for yourself. Sometimes you plan for yourself, you fail, and then you learn from your mistakes. Tomorrow you plan for yourself and you succeed. That is how we learn. But otherwise, when you become over-dependent of parents, you might have some challenges in life. Tomorrow, when you leave your parents and live on your own, you'll be having challenges of living alone. You make so many mistakes in life. So this time try to start managing yourself very well and efficiently be a manager of your own and it shall be well with you finally number six communicate with your teachers your tutors those people who teach you those people who train you communicate with them we are not in the generation of the, like the way the time we were learning we felt our teacher is like a burden they were so strict on us nowadays our teachers are accommodative they can make us understand. We can always ask questions so that we can learn from them. Um, it's very much important. Ask questions so that you can be able to understand well. And I think it is also important you test yourself every now and then. Test yourself as well. Rewrite your notes well. Do your assignments carefully. 
without any rush. Do them carefully. Make sure that you understand everything you read. And in case there is a word you come across and you don't understand, do not ignore it. It might be the main, the main word in the whole text, the whole context. Check somewhere you can understand the meaning of that word and so that you can be able to read, not only read, but you understand everything that you do in your study. Summarize what you read every now and then. And probably by the end of the day, you try to sit down and do a summary. What have I learned today? What have I added today? What have I gained? What kind of understanding do I have extra than yesterday? Review. Summarize what you have done. And then uh, it is important, uh, friends, that you learn how to communicate well to all the people around you so that you can get the ideas that you require and you become more efficient in your life. Thank you for listening. Kindly as usual, share this message on your page. Help others to learn and understand. Join our page, Bawa Nation, and it shall be well with you. Shalom.